Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you how to install RetroArch onto your PlayStation 2. So RetroArch for PlayStation 2 is actually pretty new. It was kind of like created in December of 2018, and it's still still having updates in January. So what we want to do is make sure you have a memory card with free boot installed, and you also need a USB. So if it is in your PS2, go and disconnect it, plug this into your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. So over on your computer, I will leave a link to the RetroArch for the PlayStation 2 in the description of this video. And there's actually a PSX Place link to it, so you can read a bit about it. Right now, it only supports two cores. This is 2048, um, which is like kind of like a game. And it also supports Quick NES, which is an NES emulator. So that is what we're going to be testing out. So yeah, if you don't want to play um, any of these, then probably just don't get it. It's in really early development right now, um, which is kind of crazy for a PS2 game. So this was last updated on January the 5th 2019 um, which is pretty cool but if you want to download um, RetroArch scroll down and we're looking for the download link right here so just click on this and it will open up this page so just wait for a couple of seconds for the page to load and then what it's going to do is automatically put us into the PlayStation 2 folder. So you want to scroll all the way down and whichever zip file is at the bottom, um, you want to download this one. So just click on it and it will begin downloading. You will need RINRA or 7-zip to extract this. But once it has finished downloading, you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder and just find the zip file in here. Now you also must need an NES ROM. As you can see, here is my one. Um, I got Simpsons um, Bart vs. the Space Mutants. So what we're going to do first is just get the zip file, right click and just select extract here. Once it's extracted, we can then just delete the zip file. We want to right click, new folder and just call it RetroArch. Just like that. Now we want to create another new folder and just call it ROMs just RAMS. This is where your NES ROMs will go into. These files can go into the RetroArch folder and then just put the ROMs folder inside there as well. So this is exactly what it should look like with your game inside the ROMs folder. So now just make sure your PlayStation 2's USB is connected in and we are just going to drag and drop the RetroArch folder um, onto the root of the USB. So what we're going to do now is disconnect the USB from our PC, go over onto our PS2 and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so back on your PlayStation 2, make sure your console is turned on and you're on your free Macbook memory card. Scroll down to launch elf and just press X. From here we want to press circle on file browser. Scroll down to where it says mass and press circle again. Now scroll down to the RetroArch folder and press circle. In here we will have two, these two files. Now depending on what you want to play, if you want to play 2048, it's kind of like this boring puzzle game I guess, and press circle. If you want to play the quick NES emulator, press circle on that. So we're going to load this one up. Now once it loads, you should recognize it. It pretty much just looks like um, the really old version of RetroArch, like the version you get on the PSP and stuff. And what we want to do is go to load content because the core is already loaded. So go to load content and press circle. Scroll down to mass and press circle. Scroll down to RetroArch, press circle. Here is the ROMs folder, press circle to load it. And here we go, Simpsons. Bart vs the Space Mutants, press circle and choose the emulator which is quick NES, press circle and your game should load up straight away. The PlayStation 2 can run NES games really well so we can just press start and um, just keep on pressing start just to skip all this stuff and then we should actually be able to play the game. So here is the gameplay, the gameplay um, works perfectly fine with full working sound and everything like that. I haven't encountered any issues at all, um, but it is expected that the PlayStation 2 should be able to run um, NES games without any issues, they are pretty old. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, pretty cool, hopefully RetroArch does get updated more and um, maybe and we will actually get some more stuff on there like Game Boy Advance and um, SNES. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.